Hello everyone and welcome back to Carvinus 14. Now today, the long-awaited day for Arlecchino has arrived. That's right guys. Last night in the UK time around 11 o'clock I'd like to say, all the details for Arlecchino came out including her elemental, like literally everything. Her element, gameplay, kit, absolutely everything you can imagine about a character. Alright, so yeah, now it, I've been waiting for Arlecchino for a very, very long time, right? Yeah, there were some other characters along the way that did get me enticed, but I'm not gonna lie, Arlecchino was probably the one that made me want to stay. Uh, when I first saw the Fatui Harbingers trailers, I was a little bit like, you know what, she looks cool, but I can't really tell if I actually like her design because of that coat. And then the Fontaine trailer came out, you know, the one where she snaps her fingers and everyone's got it, you know, that one basically. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, damn, I think I found her. So yeah, and then she came out in as an NPC for the for the game for the actual uh, quests in patch 4.1 and yeah, I guess I just fell in love even more. So I think Arlecchino is going to be the next DPS in my category. Well, to be fair, she'll be the first DPS actually for me. Yeah. Um so yeah, cuz as you all, as you guys all know, uh my first ever DPS was actually, well, Aether but that was when I didn't really understand how the game worked back in patch 1.0. Patch 1.1, it was Zhongli. And then in patch 2.1, it was Raiden Shogun. Then in 2.3, it was Shen He. And I've been using Shen He ever since then. So nearly two years, actually. In fact, I think it has been two years. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now we're moving on to Arlecchino. So uh, yeah, Arlecchino is definitely the first ever dedicated DPS unit that I actually will have. Raiden Shogun doesn't really count because she's more of a sub-DPS, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Let's talk more about her kit. Now, um, if you guys have seen the gameplay, absolute creme de la creme gameplay, by the way. It's absolutely insane. But we'll get more onto that uh, towards the later stages of the video. Now, Arlecchino. Um... Arlecchino, Arch Latino, um, Al uh, Cappuccino, Cappuccino um, Mrs. Daddy, Mr. Mummy, whatever you want to call her, right? She's got many, many titles, like Father Daddy so hard she became a daddyist, and um, I don't know, some weird Reddit people out there, but you know what I mean, right, guys? Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm not one of them. I swear to God, if I get labeled as a Reddit man, I'm going to violate every i'm joking i'm not gonna do that guys you know I me mean? i'm a peaceful pacifist man um just looking for some um yeah we'll leave the next sentence blank we'll just uh we'll leave it there <laughs> anyway guys um Arlecchino is a Fatui harbinger she's a five star pyro polearm user and her constellation is pergan's flammer that's wrong it's something else i know it's something else like in pergus what is it Per, what is it? Um, Ign Ignitus Purgatorius or something like that. Yeah. Pur purifying fire, basically. Um, yeah. These are the materials Arlecchino needs, guys. Obviously, the pyro gemstones. She needs a um, fragment of golden melody. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is actually a new world boss. Uh, let me see if I can open it up in control C. No, seven, seven, no, eight. Which one is it? Three. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is dropped by like a level 30 golem, which is right here, guys. As you can see, the man's face. That's what he looks like. He looks like that. And uh, yeah, this is the new world boss that Arlegina is going to require materials off of. So there you go. Um, yeah. Um, she requires uh, rainbow roses for her thing. You've probably already seen the Ascension passive now, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so she requires Rainbow Roses, which uh, I'm pretty sure everyone already has a, a decent amount now. If not, you could definitely start farming them right now because they are available in the actual open world. Um, for two insignias, so if you've been playing the game since patch 1.0 or very early on, you won't need to worry about these. Um, and she also requires the Order books. Yeah, which is definitely interesting, but I guess it does make sense with her lore and stuff. So yeah. She requires order books, and this, this, guys, is actually um, a weekly boss material from uh, um, the actual Arlecchino weekly boss. Yeah. So if you didn't know, in patch 4.6, Arlecchino is supposed to be a weekly boss as well. And um, those rumors are true, because look, level 70 plus, the Knave challenge reward. Arlecchino's title is literally the Knave. Unfortunately, there's no image on Honey Hunter Worlds just yet. So, um... 
I can't really uh, show you guys an image, but if there was an image, I definitely would show you guys. Why? Because Hoyoverse can't touch my channel because um, uh, because I have the power of God and anime on my side, right? So yeah, uh, <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, so Crown of Insight as well, if you want to take her up to Triple Crowning, which we're definitely going to be doing. So uh, yeah, anyway guys, uh, these are her stat splits at level 90. Um, so yeah, level 90, 13, 103. 342 764 defense all of these stats respectively crit rate crit damage and she also has bonus crit damage as an ascension passive which is really nice which means yes her weapon does have crit rate which is also quite nice but i would have liked it was if it was crit rate uh, if it was crit damage i should say yeah now guys Arlecchino's normal attacks are actually very, very unique and probably one of the very first characters to actually do this. I have my water bottle right next to me to drink water because my throat always just gets so damn sore after I end these. But I know you guys don't care about my health, so uh, <laughs> we'll uh, carry on. Um, yeah. Uh, so she performs six consecutive strikes, so six hits here, guys, but you can see the fourth attack is two hits, so seven hits altogether. Charge attack, that's nothing. Plunging attack, that's nothing special either. Um, now, Arlecchino has this effect called In Praise of Shadows and the Mask of Red Death, right? When Arlecchino has a bond of life, now l pay attention to these three words, guys. Bond of life, B-O-L. This word is going to be literally the do or die core kit of Arlecchino. You need to pay attention to her bond of life with the way it works. So when Arlecchino has a bond of oh yeah. Before I do actually carry on, uh, if you guys don't know what Bond of Life is, Bond of Life is effectively a status that is applied onto your character that basically stops them from healing. The way it works is if um, an opponent applies Bond of Life on you for 500, right, you can't heal for 500. What, you, what that healing will do is basically, it will basically... Um, uh, get rid of that bond of life. So let's say you heal for 250. It will remove 250 of that bond of life off And then if you do another 250 then it will completely wipe it away if that makes sense So bond of life is effectively a restriction to healing basically It's like you know how the wolf the wolf um, enemies are like anti shielders bond of life are anti healers basically Yeah now, there is one difference. With Bond of Life, you first need to clear it before you can actually start healing again. The way that it works for Arlecchino is Arlecchino cannot and will not be healed by anyone in the party. The only way Arlecchino can actually be healed is actually through her own kit, which means external healing will literally not do anything for her Bond of Life, basically. Yeah, that's the only difference here. Now, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Um... Well, to be fair, we can't really tell because the gameplay footage that has been shown on YouTube doesn't really show her going against any enemy. So we really can't tell and gauge how well her combat prowess is actually going to be as of right now. Is this going to be a detriment? Well, Arlecchino is sacrificing her survivability for damage. And I'm telling you guys, it's a lot of damage. All right. Yeah. So when Arlecchino has a bond of life equal to or greater than 30% of her max HP, she receives 40% pyro damage bonus. 40% is a ludicrous amount. Absolutely ridiculous. It's basically as much as a goblet, a, a, a pyro damage bonus goblet. It's 6% less, but that's still really, really good. Yeah. Her normal charge and plunging attacks will be converted to deal pyro damage. So they basically become infused with pyro and they cannot be overridden, as you can see here, right? Which means that you basically, no matter what infusion you give Arlecchino, she will stay pyro. It does not matter, right? When in the praise of red, when in the praise of shadow state, right? Arlecchino's normal attacks will be converted to Mask of the Red Death. Basically, guys, the in Praise of Shadow state is when her infusion is Pyro and she gets the damage bonus from her Bond of Life, right? Yeah. she'll um, Her normal attacks will be converted to Mask of Red Death. What this does is basically whenever Arlecchino attacks opponents, she'll deal extra damage that scales off of her attack, all right, multiplied by her current Bond of Life percentage, Okay. Which is why having a higher bond of life is actually quite good. Because the more bond of life you have, right, the more damage her normal attacks are actually going to deal. This will consume 5.5% of the current bond of life, right? A bond of life can be consumed every way, once every way, 
uh, every 0.05 seconds, which means every single auto attack that Arlecchino does will consume 5.5% of the current Bond of Life, right? And just to let you know, the Bond of Life is legit just scaling with her max HP. That's how Bond of Life works. If you have 13,000 HP, your bo max Bond of Life is 13,000 HP. If your Bond of Life is 1565, your, bond of, your max Bond of Life is 1565. That's literally the way it works, right? Yeah, and consuming 5.5% of, you know, 13,000 or whatever it is will consume 5.5% of 13,000 to get it. And it's 5.5 of your current bond of life, guys. Not your max, your current, which is very, very important. What this means is, if you guys didn't know... Instead of it being max, so instead of it being 5.5% of 13,000, it will be 5.5% of 13,000 initially, then it's going to be 5.5% of the new current. So if you, let's say, go from 13,000 down to 12,000, it's going to be... 5.5% of 12,000, and then it will go down to 10,000, 5.5% of 10,000. That's the way it works. So basically, the more Bond of Life Arlecchino has, the more damage that this, um, you know, uh, Red Death, uh, Mask of Red Death state is going to do, right? But that also means that when you get towards the lower ends of the Bond of Life, you'll start consuming this less and less, which means you will be able to retain the 30% Bond of Life a little bit longer. That's why current health is actually a lot better than max health here. She'll run out of Bond of Life a lot slower, which is really good, because the way that Arlecchino's kit works is you want to, at all costs, remain above 30%. You, Whatever you do, you do not want to go below 30% at all, unless you're forced to, and I'll get onto that in a little bit. Yeah. Now, the damage, like I said, you'll deal extra damage on her normal attacks that scales off of her attack, right, guys? Yeah. So her current attack multiplied by the Bond of Life percentage, okay? Yeah. So what that basically means is if Arlecchino has 80% Bond of Life, it's basically um, her attack multiplied by 80% of her Bond of Life. Yeah. So you can tell that it's pretty insane, right? Yeah. Now... It will deal extra damage that scales off her attack. So this is scaling off her attack. But as you can see down here, guys, um, these are all her attacks and stuff. But here's the thing. The blood debt damage increase, okay? What that is, is um, this is the multiplier that actually adds on to this. Now, the blood debt um, thing is not actually said at least until this, all right? Blood debt directive, okay? We'll get onto that later. But what you need to do, what you need to know is the blood debt damage increase, the way this works is literally um, when Arlecchino's health is above 30%, on top of having this regular scaling, all of these scalings are going to be multiplied by 120. So... Let's take the first hit of level 1. In, if you're above 30 if you're below 30% bond of life, it's just 47%, right? However, if you're above 30% bond of life and you're dealing pyro damage, it's 47 multiplied by 120%. So the scaling is actually 47 multiplied by 120% multiplied by um, her attack multiplied by the current bond of life. That's four multipliers that Arlecchino is going through when she's above 30%. You see why it's important to be above 30% of her bond of life at all times because the damage will just exponentially increase because everything is just being multiplied right yeah not added multiplied so yeah that's why it's actually insane and you can see here at level 10 93 percent but 238 percent if you're above 30 30 percent and 238 percent is ridiculous it's ludicrous it is insanely high all right yeah so that's the normal attacks out of the way, guys. Now, this is her elemental skill. All is ash. Summons bef summons forth Balefoon... Ba Balefoon... Bl <laughs> Bale Moon Bloodfire, dealing pyro damage to multiple nearby opponents and performing a dash cleave against one of them, dealing AoE pyro damage. All right, guys? So what this means is Arlecchino will do a, an area of effect, right... Um, pyro damage, but uh, and after that, she'll do like a slash. So she'll basically deal pyro damage in front of her, and then she'll dash towards one opponent that she's targeted, and do a massive AoE slash, right? So the slash is not, the dash is single target, because she dashes to one enemy. However, the slash is AoE, so anyone caught within the area of effect will be hit by it. Opponents hit by the aforementioned attack will have a blood debt dir directive applied to them, right? We'll get onto that in a bit. After the dash cleave, Arlecchino's bond of life will be cleared and nourishing cinders will trigger, recovering 100% of her HP 
based off the life bond value. So what this means, guys, is after Arlecchino does her elemental skill, she'll apply an effect called the Blood Debt Directive onto opponents that have been hit, right? Which Think of it basically like a mark, like, you know, Hu Tao's mark or something like that, basically. They'll be marked with the Blood Debt direct, uh, direct, Directive, sorry. I was going to say derivative. Um, yeah, that's uh, university for you. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Arlecchino recovers HP equivalent to 100% of the value of Bond of Life. So what that means, guys, is if Arlecchino currently in her Bond of Life has 80% of her max HP as Bond of Life, that Bond of Life is going to just be cleared. So you'll go to 0% Bond of Life. You won't have Bond of Life at all, but you'll heal. Now, what that means, guys, is... Because our, because the actual bond of life scales with your current H, with your max HP as well. So, like I said, if you have twelve thousand max HP, right, your bond of life is going to be twelve thousand. So, let's say you have eighty percent of twelve thousand, right? Um, uh, ten percent is what one thousand two hundred multiplied by eight. That is ten thousand eight hundred. I'd like to say. Yeah, 10,800 off the top of my head. Uh, so what that basically means, guys, is Arlecchino will recover 10,800 of the... He no, it isn't. No, no, no. I'm an idiot. No, sorry. 12 multiplied by 8 is not 108. 12 multiplied by 9 is 108. 12 multiplied by 8 is 96. Sorry, yeah. 9,600 9, off the top of my head. Yeah, um... Moral of the story, guys, when you start doing more and more advanced stuff, the simpler things in life just become more and more distant. So, uh, yeah, but anyway. So, yeah, guys, what that means is, let's say you have 12,000 HP, Arlecchino has 80% bond of life, right? What that means is, when you use your elemental skill, 80% of that bond of life is going to be cleared, right? So, your 100%, all of that 80% is going to go away, because that's your current bond of life right now, right? 80% is 100%. So 100% of the value that's in your bond of life is going to go. So if you have 80% of your max HP as bond of life, the 9,600, all of that is going to go away and will be healed to Arlecchino instead. So that means Arlecchino will heal for 9,600 health. Yeah. And just to let you know, the bond of life will stop Arlecchino from healing, but once that's cleared with her elemental skill, right, she'll heal. But the thing is, is she has a passive that stops her from healing from external sources, so you can't actually use healers here. So yeah, if that makes sense, guys, if that makes sense, I really do hope it does. Basically, Arlecchino, so to sum it up, Arlecchino's elemental um, skill, AoE pyro damage, does a dash and another AoE, right? And then uh, she'll basically heal for all of the bond of life that's stored up in her actual bond of life as healing instead. Yeah. Now, blood debt directive. So this is the only source of healing Arlecchino can really get. Blood debt directive. Directive. Directive, sorry. This lasts 30 seconds. Every three seconds, it will deal one instance of pyro damage to the opponent. So you know that mark I was talking about, guys? The Hu Tao mark kind of thing? Yeah. It will deal one instance of pyro damage to opponents, right? And max three instances. What this means, guys, is... I believe what this means is that it lasts for 30 seconds, but you can... This will only deal pyro damage every th uh, three times, which means if it's every three seconds, three multiplied by three is nine, which means after nine seconds, the blood debt directive won't necessarily go away. It will still be there, but it will only deal damage for nine seconds, basically. Yeah. Nine seconds, and it will only deal one instance of pyro damage every three seconds. So three ticks, basically. Yeah. Now, when Arlecchino uses a charge attack, she's going to absorb and clear all blood debt directives that's around her that she has applied, right? And each directive absorbed uh, grant her bo bond of life worth 20% of her max HP. So effectively, guys, what you want to do is you want to use her elemental skill to heal Arlecchino, then... Dep and then you, when you hit the opponents with her dash cleave, you want to do a charged attack straight away. Because what that will do is that will heal Arlecchino, and she'll basically do a charged attack and gain that bond of life again instantaneously. So elemental skill, you use all bond of life. Then you do a charge attack to get rid of the uh, bond, to get rid of the blood debt directive that you've applied, and then you heal it all back. Yes, you will be missing out on the pyro damage, but look, the blood debt sigil does not deal a lot of damage, even at level 10 right? So you're not losing out much in terms of damage, and you're going to be gaining a lot more with through just the normal attacks, right? Yeah. Uh, as for anything else, the maximum value of the bond of life can be granted through this method within 20 seconds after using elemental skill is 80% of her max HP. 
What this means, guys, is Arlecchino, through this method, through basically, you know the charge attack once you wipe out the blood dead directive, what that means is Arlecchino can only gain a maximum of 80%, which means if each bond of life is worth 20% of a max HP, if you hit four opponents, then you do a charge attack, you're going to get the maximum available bond of life, right? You can't go to 100% with this method, only 80%, but that's fine because 80% is still really high right? Yeah, that's still really, really good. So you definitely want to be trying to hit um, at least four opponents, minimum three, but definitely four, right? Yeah. Um, and this is the scaling. Now, it can only be applied every 20 seconds, but that's not a problem because Alatino's uh, cooldown is actually 15 seconds. So you'll have this like every single time you use her elemental skill, right? Yeah. Now, the spike skill damage, this is the initial AoE, just to let you know, guys. This, the spike skill damage is the initial AoE that Arlecchino is going to do. Um, the final skill damage, which is basically the slash, the dash and slash that Arlecchino is going to do, that's got the highest scaling here. And the blood debt sigil we just went over, right? Yeah, and it's got a 15 second cooldown, which is actually not bad. It's quite nice. Yeah. Now, guys, moving on to our ultimate, Bill Foon, Bill, Foon, Bill, Bill Moon Rising, say it. All right, Bill Moon Rising. Great winds of Bill Moon Bloodfire beat, granting Arlecchino a bond of life worth 15% of a max HP and dealing AoE pyro damage. Now, what this does, guys, is I've seen the animation. If you have not seen the animation, go and watch it. Like, go and watch her gameplay on YouTube right now. I am condoning... <laughs> I'm not condoning leaks. Watch it if you want to. Um, her ult is absolutely insane. Not in terms of, like, the damage or anything. I mean, you can see the scalings down here. It is in terms of damage, but my god, the animation is like... I... I came, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, this... All it does is, effectively, it does AoE pyro damage, and it apply and it gives Arlecchino 15% bond of life. So... Effectively, what you want to try and do, guys, is you use your elemental skill to clear any bond of life you currently have. At least hit three or four opponents, right, with her uh, dash cleave, right? Charge attack. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. What you want to do is uh, you want to... Um, yeah, you can either do a charge attack or do her elemental burst and then do a charge attack. Either way, it's fine. And that, that gives you, like, 95%. 95 percent bond of life. Yeah. Pretty insane, right? Pretty insane. But I would think, honestly, in my opinion, guys, you definitely want to do... You definitely want to go... Um, you definitely want to do Arlecchino's charge attack first and then do it. Why? Because if you do her burst first, you'll get 15%. And then, the, because, the, because the charge attack only goes up to 80%, 80 minus 15 is 65. That means the bond of life, if you hit four opponents, will actually not really do that much. Because it won't be giving you more bond of life. So you definitely want to do a charge attack and then do her burst to get 95%. Otherwise, you'll be capped at 80% with the burst. Yeah. And the cooldown... Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's the where's the cost? What? How much energy does it cost? Honey Hunters doesn't actually put it on here, but according to the leaks, it is actually 60. So it's not too expensive, but it isn't cheap either. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of in the middle ground, really. It's not bad, I would say. It's... Like, in my opinion, anything above 60 is, like, expensive. 60 and below is manageable and okay, but anything above 60 is definitely more expensive. Yeah. Um, now, guys... Moving on to Arlecchino's passive skills. Now, she's got a very unique one. Um, so, Cinders alone shall nourish. This is her open world passive, guys, right? You know how everyone has an open world passive? This is Arlecchino's open world passive. While in combat, Arlecchino can only receive healing effects from all his ashes nourishing Cinders. This effect, guys, remember the uh, Bond of Life um, clear and then you heal? Yeah, that's basically it. That's the only way Arlecchino can heal. Now... This is while in combat, which means outside of combat, Arlecchino can still receive healing through food, through, you know, Kokomi or Bennett or Statue of the Sevens, any other healer. But while she's in combat, she cannot heal. And I'm pretty sure that also means food. Yeah, Arlecchino, I don't think, can heal through food, which is kind of insane, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, the first character that genuinely cannot heal at all when in a combat situation, definitely. Yeah. Now... Her first Ascension Unlockable passive, so her Ascension 1, Ascension 1 passive, basically, yeah. 
Defeating a phone with a phone. Defeating a foe with Blood Debt Directive will immediately grant Arlecchino Bond of Life worth 70% of her max HP. Now, just to let you all know, Blood Debt Directive, which is the Blood Debt Sigil, right? That's the thing that needs to kill Arlecchino, I think. Alright? Because it says defeating a foe with the Blood Debt Directive, right? I believe what this means is Arlecchino. I believe what this means is Arlecchino... I don't... Because there's there's two things here that I'm understanding from this one line. Number one, the Blood Debt Sigil, the basically the pyro damage burn over time, right? That three instance one, that burn over time is the thing that needs to kill them. Or Arlecchino needs to defeat an opponent with the mark, right? With the mark. Yeah. Now... It could very well be the fact that when Arle Arlecchino needs to defeat an opponent with the Blood Debt Directive, right? So, the Blood Debt Directive applied to them. Okay, um... Yeah, that's interesting. So there's two ways this can really happen, guys. The Blood Debt Directive, or the Sigil, right, the, the damage over time thing needs to kill them. Or, as long as they have the Blood Debt Directive applied on them and Arlecchino kills them, she'll gain it. So, hopefully it's the latter, because if it's the latter, then Arlecchino will be able to gain Bond of Life so damn quickly. Like, imagine, your massive AoE slash with this damage multiplier here, and then you just do, like, a normal attack combo, and that's 70% straight away. Yeah. I do believe that's what it means. I do believe it, yeah. So... We'll, we'll think of it like that, guys. The Blood Debt Directive, if Arlecchino defeats an opponent with the Blood Debt Directive applied onto them through her normal attacks or burst or whatever, she'll gain Bond of Life worth 70%, which is insanely good. Insanely good. Because, remember, the max you can get is 80% from the skill, and it's giving you 70% worth of that. So, you don't even need to use a charge attack if you don't want to, basically. But it's probably still a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Additionally, Blood Debt Directive has levels. At different levels, absorbing a Blood Debt Directive will grant Arlecchino um, differing amounts of Bond of Life. Uh, directive starts at 1. So what this means, guys, is as soon as Arlecchino applies that after the Slash, as soon as the Slash is done and that applies, she'll get level 1. And it increases every 3 seconds until level 3, right? So Arlecchino will gain a Bond of Life worth 20, 25, and 70%. At levels 1, 2, and 3 of a Bond of Life. So basically what this means, guys, is if you wait for level 2, that you'll gain 25%. And if you if it's at level 3, you'll gain 70%. Now, waiting 6 whole seconds in order to gain 70% Bond of Life is not worth it. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does this constellation even mean? Believe it or not, guys, this constellation... I do apologize if you can hear, like, some, uh, drilling noise in the background. They're actually doing- they're doing some roadworks right outside our house. So, uh, yeah, that's what that is. Um, if it gets too loud, um, I do apologize. I'll see if I can do something about it, but, um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna only try and talk- I'll try and talk as loudly as I possibly can. If it's too- if I'm too loud, do lower your volumes, right? So, uh, yeah, and, uh, I'll obviously try and be wary of, uh, what I'm- how loud I am. Um, yeah. So, basically, guys, this constellation, if you didn't know, is actually only against single targets. Because Arlecchino would not have a need for this constellation, because 70% of max HP, that's literally what this gives you. So, why bother waiting three seconds? You know, I, I mean, six seconds to get the max. This... There we go. All right. This, console, this passive, guys, is actually for bosses and single targets. So if you're going against bosses that obviously don't have a lot of um, opponents around you, you won't be able to apply a lot of the Blood Dead Directive, right? It'll most likely just be one opponent. And there's also the fact that, you know, it's just one opponent. Um, you can't defeat them that quickly, a boss. So that's what this constellation is here for. Basically, guys, this bit is for the open world, um, you know, mobs uh, farming, like, open world bosses in massive groups, which is, like, 80% of the content in the game. This is only for the other 20% when you're actually doing a boss fight, right? Like, the weekly bosses, the world bosses, um, certain domains and stuff like that. This is basically only covers that rare exclusivity. So, believe it or not, this passive is not bad, but it's basically there because Hoyoverse knew that she's very AoE reliant. In bosses, she'll be very bad otherwise, so that's why they gave her this passive. Yeah. Now, her second um, Ascension passive, guys, or her Ascension 4 passive when you get to Ascension Phase 4, is a really unique one because Arlecchino will gain 1% 
elemental and physical resistance for every 100 attack she has over 1000. The maximum resistance she gained this way is 20%. Basically guys, for every 100 attack she has above 1000, she'll gain 1%. So if you have 1100 attack, you'll get 1% elemental and physical resistance. Now, 20 multiplied by 100 is obviously 2000 right? So 2,000 plus 1,000 is 3,000, which means when Arlecchino has 3,000 attack, you will have the maximum elemental and physical resistance. Now, why is this good? Why is this important? Because Arlecchino cannot heal from external sources, only herself. And obviously, you're not going to have your elemental skill up all the time. It's on a 15 second cooldown, right? Yeah. So this basically makes it so that Arlecchino is a lot, is a little bit tankier. It basically increases her survivability and stuff like that, right? Which means that Arlecchino, instead of taking 100%, of the damage, she'll only take 80% of the damage, which is still really, really nice, right? Yeah, so if you're not running a shielding unit with Arlecchino, you could definitely... Ha this passive is definitely useful, right? Yeah. And it does mean you will need some attack, but getting 3,000 attack on Arlecchino is actually not as difficult as you would seem, and I will explain why. Maybe not in this video, because this video will be dragged on really long otherwise. It'll probably be in another video, yeah. And now we're on to the constellations, guys. Arlecchino's constellations. They're pretty good. So her C1, when normal attacks, when normal attacks, right? Basically, guys, when her normal attack, the uh, pyro infusion, hits opponents, it has a 33% chance of not consuming consuming Arlecchino's bond of life, and it will grant her a bond of life worth 5% of her max HP. This constellation is actually um, quite good. It may not sound amazing, but it is actually quite good. What this means, guys, is Arlecchino, as you all know, uses 5.5% of her bond of life right, of her max HP through Bond of Life in order to actually deal damage. Now, instead of taking, um, instead of taking away, this constellation actually adds back 5%. Yeah, and if you didn't know, guys, Arlecchino hits seven times in her combo, right? She hits seven times, which means two out of six is a third, 33%, which means Arlecchino is guaranteed to basically gain 10% bond of life, because 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, right? So 10% of her... She's basically guaranteed to get 10% of her max HP as bond of life again, right? Yeah, which means instead of draining 5.5% bond of life uh, max HP as a bond of life 7 times, 2 of those 7 times will be granted back to her, right? So 5.5 multiplied by 5 is like, uh, 27, I believe, 27, yeah, 27.5, I think, actually, yeah, so 5.5 multiplied by 7 is 35%, no, it's not, it's, sorry, it's, um, 37%, yeah, 37%, 37.5%, around that, now, instead of Arlecchino using 37.5% of her max HP as Bond of Life, she will actually only use 27 or 20, yeah, 27.5%, a full 10% less. And on top of that, you're gaining 10% bond of life, right? And let's not forget, guys, the math on that 37% and 27% is actually not correct. Because remember, remember, right? It's current bond of life, not max. If it was max, it would be 37. But it's actually less than 37 normally. It'd probably be around 30 or 29%. Which means that this, this constellation just makes it so that Arlecchino can stay in her pyro infusion state longer. Which means more damage over time. Which means she becomes a, a much better sustained fighting DPS. Which is really, really nice. Right? Yeah. Her C2. Her C2 is... Probably one of her best constellations, right? Yeah. So Blood Dead Directive now starts at level 2. So basically, after the Slash guys, normally it would start at level 1. Now it's level 2. Which means instead, when you're going against a boss, instead of going all the way to 6 seconds and waiting to level 3, you only need to wait 3 seconds now in order to get the max. Which is just even better because, you know, you can use Arlecchino a lot faster and swap off her rotations and it won't be as awkward, right? Yeah. Um... When Arlecchino also, on top of um, getting uh, level 2, you definitely do want to wait until level 3 now, once you get her C2. Before, if you applied her level 1 and there were enough opponents in the vicinity, you could just do a charge attack straight away and it would be good enough, right? Yeah, it would be good enough. However, now, you definitely want to wait for C uh, for uh, level 3 with C2. Because what it does is when Arlecchino absorbs a level 3, 
directive, she will unleash a flare of Bale Moon blood fire, dealing 900% of her attack as AoE pyro damage, right? And it can trigger once every 10 seconds. This constellation is beyond bonkers, right? Because every 10 seconds, this means whenever Arlecchino has a level 3, right, which obviously can only happen once every um, elemental skill rotation, right, she'll deal 900% of her attack as AoE, and it can trigger once every 10 seconds, right? Yeah, once every 10 seconds. Her elemental skill has a 15 second cooldown, which means every single time your elemental skill is up, you're able to do this. Which is insane. Absolutely insane. Right? Yeah. And 900% of her attack as AoE pyro damage is stupid. No character should have this level of power locked behind an early constellation. C2. This is C2. Not even C6. Right? Or C4. It's C2. Which is as early as you probably would think. Right? Because compared to C1, obviously, C1 is a much weaker constellation than C2. But still, having this level of power locked behind a C2 constellation is ridiculous. Yeah. Her C3 is... This guy's is very unique because it increases her normal attacks instead of her elemental skill. Normally, it would be her elemental skill or her burst, but it's actually a normal attacks, which means if you have level... If you have her crowned already, right... You can see the multiplier, if it's crowned at level 10, it will go up to level 13, 112%, right? Multiplied by 288%, so the scaling here becomes like 300%. No, no, not 300%. I'm pretty sure this is near 400%. This multiplier right here is 400%. I'm pretty sure it's near 400. It's just under or just above. I can't remember though. Yeah. If I do the math off the top of my head, um, let's see. Well, 112 doubled is 224, doubled again, 448. And then 80%. So this. Uh, wow. Oh my god. That's, I think, near 560%. I think. Do you know what this means, guys? This means that Arlecchino will have one of the highest normal attack multipliers in the game not even at level 13 even before then i'm pretty sure she'll have one of the highest once you get to level 10 holy god no way i mean from the leaks i know i i from the leaks that i've read arlecchino was supposed to be a hyper carry this isn't even hyper-carrying anymore. This is Annihilation. This is Annihilation is what this is. She's not a hyper-carry DPS. She's an Annihilation DPS is what she is. All right? That, that's, that's what I'm going to call her now, an Annihilation DPS. She's not even a hyper-carry anymore. She's an Annihilation DPS. All right? Once she gets this... Oh, my God. This C3 is actually one of the br most... This has to be one of the strongest C3s in the game, I think, honestly. Yeah. Um. All right. It... We'll move, we'll try to move on from that, but, um, yeah, her C4, guys, um, her C4 is also pretty good. Uh, the value of Bond of Life granted by her ultimate, Bale, Foon, Bale, Bale Moon, friggin' Bale, I keep mixing Bale Moon Bloodfire and, uh, Bale Moon Bloodfire, I keep mixing Bale Moon and Bloodfire together, so I say Balefire, right? You know what, fuck it, we'll just call it Balefire, right? Balefire Moon Rising. <laughs> God's sake. Right, we'll just call it ultimate. Her ultimate is increased to 25% of her max HP. Now, if you guys didn't know, her ultimate before is 15% of her bond of life as max HP. Now it's 25%, which just means you're guaranteed to get 100% every time you do the rotation correctly. Before you would get like 95%, now you're just getting 100%, right? Yeah. When she hits an opponent with blood dead directive applied to them, she'll increase that directive level by one, which what this means, guys, is elemental skill... Level 2, alright, from this. Elemental skill, level 2. Burst, alright. Blood debt director, 25% um, bond of life. Normal attack. And that's level 3. 
which means in about two, three seconds, you'll be able to get level three, unleash that, annihilation DPS, and carry on. Just, just carry on, basically. Like, I honestly think each and every single one of Arlecchino's constellations makes her progressively get better and better and better which is actually quite a rarity in five stars like some five stars are a bit wish-washy like their c1 is broken and their c2 is meh their c3 their c4 is like complete rubbish and then the c6 is amazing right arlecchino consistently gets better and better and better the more constellations you pull for her yeah like this basically makes it so that she can hit level three instantaneously and that complements her c2 even more like it's it's brilliant honestly it's like it's like it's like you know dominoes that just get bigger and bigger progressively and they all fall on each other and use the momentum from previously to become even stronger at the end right it's it's a bit like that if you've seen those videos on youtube i mean they were popular when i was a kid i don't know if you guys have watched them now i mean you know kids these days don't know what they're watching um anyway um c5 so, so C5 increases the level of her Bill Moon Rising, her ultimate by three levels. And her ultimate at level 10 is 666%, which just so happens to be the number of the devil, if you guys aren't familiar with the um, mythology and stuff like that. But if you are, congratulations. Um, it's a piece of useless information, but <laughs> no, it's not useless. It's, uh, it's good to know if you're a religious human being like myself. Um, level 13. Seth... <laughs> So seven hundred and eighty four point one percent on top of five hundred and sixty percent normal attacks yeah she's not even a hyper carry she's an annihilation dps is what she is she's like an a uh, she's like like oblivion like oblivion levels of power if you guys read the marvel comics like oblivion levels of power basically yeah from, uh, that's her C5. Her C6 is, from this day on, we shall delight in the new life to get... Why did I read the damn constellation now? It's too long for me to read. It's all like a friggin' Shakespeare mythology... Shakespearean poem is what it is. Um, yeah. And her C6, guys, listen to this. The damage of all is Ash's dash cleave. So her elemental skills dash cleave is increased by Arlecchino's attack multiplied by 500%. So on top of... On top of the scaling you get here, guys, the 240%, you're also increasing it again by Arlecchino's attack percent, right, a total attack, and 500% of her bond of life. So if Arlecchino... If Arlecchino has 13... Th no, 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 we'll do it simply, okay? If Arlecchino has 10,000 HP, all right? I know it's a uh, way off, but 10,000 HP, okay? If Arlecchino has 10,000 HP and you have 100% of that bond of life, right? So 10,000. Multiplied by 5, because that's 500%. 50,000. That is a flat 50,000 going to Arlecchino's elemental skill as damage. On top of the 240% scaling that you're getting here. On top of the flat attack ratio that you have if you have like 3000 that's 3000 flat you guys i think i think arlecchino might be a little bit broken at c6 not even at c6 i think her at c c2 is no 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 C0 Arlecchino is broken enough. The, the, this, this blood debt damage, this one stat line right here, get, like, that one stat line, this one stat line right here, guys, the blood debt damage increase, all right? If it was not for this, she would not even be this strong. But I honestly think this makes her one of the strongest, the best, like, not even Nouvellet level beyond nouvellet levels of damage i'm i'm calling it right now i genuinely think at c0 arlecchino is stronger than nouvellet i'm actually gonna i'm calling it right now i genuinely do think that's going to be the case yeah but basically guys what this does is it will increase arlecchino's um uh dash cleave right which just means that it does even more damage now right it does kind of make sense because her elemental her c3 increases her elemental her normal attacks right which just is more da a lot more damage her c5 also does the exact same thing so they kind of needed to sort of level her something out with her elemental skill and they've done it with her c6 and listen to this guys this is the best bit 
For 20 seconds after she uses her elemental skill or the dash cleave thing, both her normal attack and her burst gain 10% increased crit rate and 70% increased crit damage. So on top of all of the ludicrous scaling that Arlecchino is going to have from her level 13 normal attacks and level 13 burst, on top of all of that, on top of her C2, her C4, her C3, her C5, she's going to get 70% crit damage on top of that for both her, for both her normals and her burst. This is too much. She shouldn't even be a five star at this point. She should be a six. This is six star levels of power. Like, you shouldn't give this much power to a, a to a character. You should not give this much power to an actual character in the game. It's game break. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm genuinely put my hands down and say she is going to be for the first life for the first time in my life. None of that clickbait stuff like, oh, this character's broken or, oh, Raiden Shogun's broken. No, they're not broken. They are balanced. Arlecchino is broken. She is not balanced. She's broken on both a, a meta point and, like, she breaks the game in terms of how normal she actually is. She's not normal. She's extraordinary. She's beyond normal. This is not allowed. She should not be allowed this power. I can't. I cannot. With these, no. I cannot, all right? I can't. These constellations are something else. What? I, oh my lord. No, no. Hoyoverse, you should not give this much power to a character. You shouldn't. This is too much. This is way too much power. This is way too much. But then again, if you think about it, the fact that she can't heal from external sources, she does need some sort of compensation factor. But no. No, this is too much. This is too much. I've rambled on for 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. This is going to be an hour-long video. I need to carry on. I'm sorry, guys. But we'll move on to the next bit, all right? The next bit is not that. This is not the next bit. This is the next bit. Her pole, her pole arm is a pole arm that turns into a scythe. Spoiler alert for the gameplay if you haven't seen it, by the way, guys. But yeah, her pole arm converts into a scythe. It's pretty insane. And her pole arm is also pretty insane. Now, it's 48 base attack, which means 674 base attack at level 90 and 4.8%. Basically, the Primordial Jade Wing Spear in terms of stats, right? You can see down here, 22% and 674 crit rate, right? And the passive. This passive grants a bond of life equal to 25% of Arlecchino's max HP when a charge attack hits an opponent. Which is really good because that synergizes with Arlecchino's, you know, her elemental skill. Yeah, remember this, guys? Yeah, her elemental skill. It synergizes really well with her elemental skill. Because now, on top of getting 20% from a single opponent, after you use your charge attack, you get 25%. Which actually lowers the threshold. Because let's not forget, guys, right? You... Before, it was four opponents to get the max 80%. Now, you just need three opponents. Yeah, because 20 multiplied by three is 60, plus 25% from this, that's 85%. Yeah. So now, it's reduced it down to three seconds. And if you're going against an opponent, even better, because now, all you need is just, what? Wait three seconds for the level two, which gets the... Um, 25%. Yeah. 25% multiplied by 25%. That's 50%, which is still above 30%. And it's still a really nice amount to have. Because in my opinion, guys, the way that Arlecchino's damage works is as long as you're above 30% of her max bond of life, as long as you have the pyro infusion, you're good. All right? Yeah. Because remember, Arlecchino uses less and less of her bond of life the lower the bond of life gets, right? So at 50%, it's still not bad. So, yeah, it's still really good. So, basically, this just makes Arlecchino a lot more convenient to play. Uh, this effect can be triggered once every 14 seconds, which is great because that's her elemental skill cooldown. Like, Arlecchino is very reliant on her elemental skill to get her bond of life, right? And the fact that it's one second less for some reason is one second less, right? Yeah, after Arlecchino's um, elemental skill, it's really, really good in that regard. Yeah. In addition, when the equipping character has a bond of life, they gain 12% damage bonus. So what this 12% damage bonus means, guys, is she'll gain a 12% pyro damage bonus, right? Yeah. On top of the 40... Well, no. it's at, This is actually below the 30%, right? So when you have a bond of life that's th below 30%, you gain 12%. And if the value of bond of life is greater than 30%, then it's 20% damage bonus. So on top of getting the 40% damage bonus for Pyro, you're going to get 20% from this. So 60% after you use a charge attack effectively. 
Pyro damage bonus with Bond of Light. Yeah. Um, this is a five star character, by the way. Yeah. Of course, it's whale territory to go into her, you know, actual weapon. And I personally wouldn't recommend pulling for the weapon, but if you do end up pulling for the weapon, my god, you will not be disappointed. Because the level of power that this weapon gives, it gives you max HP Bond of Life, which is what Arlecchino needs. And the more she has, the more damage you deal. And on top of that, you're also getting 12 or 20% damage bonus. That's... That is insane. Yeah. Also, if you guys want to know the Ascension materials, um, her weapon requires these, um, you know... If it actually selects it. Yeah, but she requires the, um, the, uh, the goblet, or as I like to call it, you know, the bird bath. You know, where, you know, in the, in the, you know, in the world where the bird baths are, where it collects rainwater and the birds can use it to drink and have a shower. If you don't go outside, you probably wouldn't know. But, if you're like me, who does go outside all the time, you'd know. You'd have a lot of world knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you also require these materials. Now, these materials, if you guys didn't know, it... Let it load up first. Um, but yeah, it's actually new. Now, she also requires the cogs from the, uh, the Gardamek enemies. Um, yeah, these are a new type of, uh, materials, just to let you guys know, from, uh, Golem Guards. Yeah. Um, so you get them from Golem Guards, which is coming out in 4.6, so you can't farm them right now. But, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the bird bath material and the, uh, you know, the, the, the cogs from the Gardameks. And then this is her ascension, not ascension, sorry, refinement ranks. So... Basically, what changes, guys, is just the damage bonuses. So, the damage bonuses goes from 12 to 28% below, and 20 to 52%. 52% pyro damage bonus when you're above. That's... No. You... No. You, you can't... You can't... You, you, you can't... No. You, you can't give a weapon this much power while not even changing the restrictions for it. I, I can't even anymore. Like, at this point... Hoyoverse have just cooked way too hard, and they've made Arlecchino beyond broken. Oh, and if you guys want to see the icons, that's her, her icon there. This is the Awakened icon, and this is the Gacha Splash. It doesn't know what... Okay, it does open. But yeah, that's the Gacha Splash, guys, and this is the uh, Awakened icon. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually seem to um, have the Scythe version on here, because yes, it does change into a Scythe, but it doesn't have it, unfortunately, which is a shame. But um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's Arlecchino's weapon. Now, we're moving on to other new artifact sets, right? I'm not going to go... Um, normally, in these types of videos, I would go over, um, you know, her best artifacts, her best weapons, and her best uh, teammates. But this, wep this video has dragged on way too long because I've been crying like an absolute little girl about how broken her kit is. And um, she her kit is very complicated, so I kind of wanted to dedicate an entire video just to her. So, uh, yeah... Uh, anyway, guys, Fragment of Harmony Whimsy. This artifact set is actually Arlecchino's best in slot artifact set. Now, what it does is it gives you attack percent, which is good because that's what she needs because her kit literally relies off of attack percent. She doesn't need pyro damage bonus because you already get that with her signature weapon as well as her um, her overall kit anyway. So, uh, yeah. 40% um, is already enough, in my opinion. So, yeah. When the value of the Bond of Life increases or decreases, this character deals... 18% uh, increased damage for 6 seconds, and it stacks up to 3 times. So basically what this, what this means, guys, is whenever Arlecchino gains Bond of Life, that's 18%. And whenever she loses it, that's also 18%, and it stacks up to 3 times. So when Arlecchino gains it and decreases it, which obviously can happen once every 0 0.05 seconds, she'll basically insta-stack it within 1 second. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Within one second. Within one, 1.5 seconds. That much. A moment of silence. Please. To realize how strong this woman actually is. And she's the fourth harbinger. Just imagine the top three if they ever become playable. What the hell? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. 18% multiplied by three is 54%. And just to let you know, guys, this isn't damage bonus. This is damage dealt. Increased damage dealt. And if you didn't know, damage dealt actually comes at the very end. So if you didn't know the damage calculation Genshin Impact, obviously your attack, 
So it's, it starts off with your attack, your, um, yeah, your attack basically, then it goes on to your normal um, attack scalings and stuff like that, uh, elemental burst scalings or elemental skill scalings, whatever you want. So in this case, let's take normal attack. So attack, normal attack multipliers and any other bonuses going towards her normal attack. Then you've got... Um, damage bonuses, right, like pyro damage bonus, uh, normal attack damage bonus, um, you know, stuff like that, basically. Then you've got reaction, so vaporize, melt, swirl, overload, burning, burgeon, whatever you want to do, right? Yeah. G crystal, pyro crystallize for some reason, I don't know, I'm, I'm not including that, but yeah. Um, yeah, then after that, uh, you get the crit damage stuff, right? So any crit damage if you critically strike, yeah. And then after that is damage dealt. So this is damage dealt. It comes at the very end, and 54% damage dealt is insane because you're increasing the crit damage if you critically strike. Yeah. So 54% damage dealt. That's basically, if you critically strike for 200,000, you're now going to critically strike for like... 100 and 104,000 so your critical strike will be going from 3,400 uh, three, uh, from 2,000 to 304,000 basically so go from 200,000 to 304,000 yeah what I did, oh my god I can't Oh, anyway, guys, I think that I'm going to call the video there. Yeah, there is another artifact section that is here, but it's not really made for Arlecchino. Yeah, it's, it's a burning artifact set, and this increases the uh, damage dealt of opponents, but it's off it's off field. Yeah, it's off field. You need to be off field in order for it to happen. Yeah, but anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> I'm going to go sleep. Like, Arlecchino is so, so strong. Like... I, I, I genuinely mean it when I say this, right? Arlecchino is stupidly strong, all right? See, like, really strong. Yeah, like, why can I not... Okay, there we go. Like, she's really, really strong. Like, she shouldn't be given this amount of power, but she is. But anyway, guys, that's basically been the video. I have been Carvinus14, and still am. Can I open the damn... There we go. I have been Carvinus14, and still am. And I hope the rest of you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your night, the rest of your morning. And I'll see you again in the very next video where I'm going to be talking about maybe her artifacts or her weapons, but we'll go more in depth than that in the next video. Goodbye.